Well, hey, welcome to, welcome to the next video. Uh, we are going to um, do lesson 18. Lesson 18 is, is, is more work on eighth notes. Um, if you look at the top of um, the page on number one, we've got uh, several eighth note patterns. Uh, actually, actually, they go through from A through J, and it has a counting under, underneath um, where we have a measure of 2-4, in A, in one A, and, and they're counted one and two and, and then there's a half note in the second measure. One and two and one. And you say one for two counts because the half note gets two counts in two four time. Now, if we look at, at one B, we have one and two, and the last eighth, re, eighth note in the first measure is a rest, so we don't say that and. One, one and two, one, and then varying patterns. This may take a little while, a, a little bit to shoot, but I'm going to spend the time that I need with you to make sure that you understand the first portion of lesson 18, because it's really hard to play the rest of it if you don't understand it. If you get confused, please stop the video rewind, listen, and play again. Okay? Here we go. Get my saxophone on. We're going to do um, lesson 18, number one. Uh, we're going to do A. We're going to repeat A, B, repeat B, and try to get all the way through J. Going to, going to, going to play each of them twice. Here we go. One, two, ready? underneath that are written as well and that way you can internalize them and recognize them when you see them. All right number two. Number two has two flats because we are now in the key of B flat. We have B flat and E flat. Remember if there's one flat it's going to be B flat. If there are two it's going to be B flat and E flat. It's never going to be uh, G flat and F flat. It's always going to be if there are two B flat and E flat. Now we're going to play some of the same patterns that we played in number one in the exercise of number two. Here we go. One, two, ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
And again, if I play that too fast, go back, listen to it again, count through it. Most of the counts go one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two, right? Until the last two measures where you have one and two and one, right? All right, let's go to number three. Number three, it changes keys. Number three is in the key of F, and it has one flat. And if it has one flat, what's that flat? B flat, you're right. Here we go. One, two, ready? Go. <laughs> and then play it the second time. And if you struggle, stop, go back, count along the first time, and then play it the second time. All right, number four. It's in the key of C. No flats, no sharps, no hits, no runs, no errors. The healthiest scale of all, all natural. Number two, all, excuse me, number four, in two, four. Lesson 18, number four. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> sits where it's supposed to sit. Make sense? All right, again, same thing. If, if it was too fast, go back, count through it the first time, play it again, rewind, count through it again, and then play it again. Uh, number five, lesson 18. It's also in the key of C, but it's got an accidental. Let's see if you can figure out what the accidental is. One, two, ready? Did you figure out what the accidental is? Do you see it? Write it in the comments. Tell me what measure was in. Tell me what the accidental was. Tell me what the key signature says it was, and tell me what the accidental was, but do it down in the comment section. Again, I, and I can't emphasize it enough. If I play these too quickly for you, go back, and while I'm playing it, count through it, and then play it, and if you still struggle, count through it again, and play it again. This is not a race. This is just a, an opportunity to get better. Use it as an opportunity to get better. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.